We got a pretty good new seltzer today to talk about. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here. We're gonna talk about the simple, the simple hard seltzer. And we picked this seltzer, you'll see the graphic up on my screen there. We picked this because we found it. I don't know, I don't know what the hell, where we found it, but we paid, I think, 15 or 16 bucks a case for this stuff. These are low carb spiked seltzers and they come out of the Flying Fish Brewing Company and that's based out of Somerdale, New Jersey, which is about, I guess, 10 or so miles south of Philly on the Jersey side. And these are rated at one gram of carbs per can, 12 ounces, 5% alcohol by volume. That seems to be the sweet spot for all these new seltzers these days. And they come in like three flavors. This is a 15 pack, which is nice. It's uh, three flavors and five cans each. And the flavors are blueberry peach, pomegranate lime, and mango kiwi. And I, you know, if I had to pick a, a favorite, it was definitely the uh, pomegranate lime. Uh, but they were all good. There was no bad flavor. I don't know if you've watched any of my low carb uh, seltzer reviews, but I've had some that are so goddamn awful that I just, I'll never, ever, ever buy them again. Now the bonus of this is that it's a 15 pack, which is nice. And I think that's a really good value. I think the, the 15 pack was 16 bucks plus tax, but you buy it by the case, it's uh, 30 cans for $30. And that comes out to a dollar per can for 5% alcohol. Our favorite, still pretty much about to get knocked off the top is the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. And they, they're a little bit costlier, $1.17 per can uh, when you buy them uh, in the 12 pack. But they have a lower alcohol, 4.5%. And what I like about this, I mean, believe it or not, this is a major pet peeve for me. This is standard soda can, as opposed to these, these slim cans they have these days, these really slim, I hate slim cans, they're for girl, girly men and they fall down in the fridge. Regular cans, they have more stability when you, when, you, when you use them. I really like that. There's nothing wrong with these simple, simple. I mean, uh, other than their logo, I hate these new short phrases. Why couldn't they call it simple? Probably for copyright reasons, and there could be a million reasons why they came up with that name. Maybe it's the initials of the owner, who knows? That's it. If you like these videos, please hit the bell and subscribe and check out our channel. Have a good day.